we want to find a possible equation for the transformed trigonometric function. So analyzing the graph, we should recognize this as a transformation of the secant function or cosecant function. And to help us find this transformation, we'll sketch the cosine or sine function that has the same transformation and then find the equation of the cosine or sine function and use that equation to find the equation of our transformed secant or cosecant function. Before we do this though, we need to remember that if we were to graph the basic secant function and cosine function on the same coordinate plane, this would be the relationship. More specifically, notice how these relative minimums of the secant function here and here are the maximums of the cosine function and these relative maximums of the secant function here and here are the minimums of the cosine function. And the same thing would be true for the basic cosecant and sine functions as we see here. So going back to our graph, these two points will be maximums of the cosine or sine function and these three points will be minimums of the sine or cosine function. Notice how here we have y values of positive one, here we have y values of negative three. The midline would have to be halfway between these, which would be at y equals negative one. And therefore the sine or cosine function that has the same transformation would have to look something like this. So if we can find the equation of this transformed sine or cosine function, we can use this to find the equation of our transformed secant or cosecant function. So now we'll focus on one period of our red graph. So if we start at zero radians, let's focus on this piece here. Notice at zero radians we have a maximum value here in red and therefore we'll use the cosine function to find the equation of this red graph. Remember the five key points for the basic cosine function starting at zero radians are here at a maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. This completes one period of the cosine function. So we'll find the equation of this cosine function in the form y equals a times cosine of b times the quantity x minus d plus c. So we should recognize that a affects the amplitude, b affects the period, d affects the phase shift or horizontal shift, and c affects the vertical shift. So starting with a, remember the absolute value of a would be the amplitude, where a would be the distance from the midline to the maximum which would be here, notice how that's two units, as well as the distance from the midline to a minimum here, which of course is also two units. And again, because at zero radians we have a maximum function value, not a minimum function value, there's no reflection across the horizontal axis, and therefore A would have to be positive too. Now let's find B. Remember two pi divided by B is equal to the period, so again, going back over to our graph here, notice how the period of this red cosine function is eight radians, and therefore two pi divided by b must equal eight. Let's write this as eight over one, we'll cross multiply. Notice how this would give us eight b equals two pi. So if we divide both sides by eight, notice how we have b equals two pi divided by eight, where b is equal to pi over four. Next, let's take a look at the value of D. Remember D affects the horizontal shift or phase shift. And again, since at zero radians, we have a maximum function value here. There is no phase shift, and therefore D would be equal to zero. And then finally C, which represents a vertical shift. And because the bid line is at Y equals negative one, the function is shifted down one unit and therefore c is equal to negative one. So the equation of our red cosine function that would have the same transformation of our secant function would be y equals two times cosine of, again d is zero, so we just have bx, which would be pi over four 
x plus c, but c is negative 1, so we have minus 1. Now again, since we use the cosine function here, the equation on the blue graph that we're looking for would be the reciprocal function of cosine, which is secant. So the equation we're looking for is y equals 2 times secant of pi over 4x minus 1. And of course, a nice way to check this would be to enter both of these equations on our graphing calculator or some graphing software to verify the relationship between the two graphs would look like this. Both this red cosine function and this blue secant function have the same transformation. I hope you found this helpful.